Hello everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to use the Rank Tracker tool inside of Jungle Scout to monitor and track your keyword rankings over time. This is one of the most powerful tools that allows you to analyze historical keyword performance and uncover which top keywords are influencing your listings, as well as your competitors. I'll take you through five simple steps for using Rank Tracker to help you maximize your keyword power. So let's get started. Step number one, add products. So to begin tracking, click here, enter a group name, click create, and then click on add a product to start adding products. In the first step, you have the option to either select one of your own products or start with a competitor product, depending on if you're wanting to gain competitive insights or understand how you're performing. If you're adding a competitor, you'll select the marketplace and then enter the ASIN. If you leave this selected, then Jungle Scout will run a reverse ASIN search on this product and automatically pull in the top 50 keywords this product ranks for. These will be added over here to your keyword bank list. You also have the option to add additional keywords to your keyword bank. You can do this by either entering them in manually, selecting a pre-made keyword list from the dropdown over here, or adding additional product ASINs. If you add additional ASINs, then Jungle Scout again will pull in the top keywords that those products are ranking for and then add them into the keyword bank. Once you're set here, click save. Step number two, view keyword details. You're now in the keyword details section of Rank Tracker. Displayed over here is the original product selected, showing its product name, marketplace, and ASIN. Clicking over here takes you to the listing on Amazon. Here you see the estimated daily units sold for this product. Now let's go to the graph. Displayed is the historical rank for up to 10 keywords for this product over time. Automatically selected will be the top 10 keywords for this product, but you can select up to any 10 keywords from your keyword bank over here. You can sort this list by either search volume or rank, and in parentheses next to each keyword is listed the amount of search volume. Down here, you also have the option to select match table. This will allow you to select up to 10 keywords in the table below by clicking the checkbox next to it to display on the graph. Click apply to update the graph. Now over here, you can set the date range for the graph going as far back as the last two years. Down here, you can choose to see data on a daily, weekly, or even monthly basis. And then over here, you can choose whether you wanna see this product's organic or sponsored rank. On to step number three, add annotations. Click on view annotations. Here you have the opportunity to add manual notes and link them to a certain date to see them displayed on the graph. These can be pertaining specifically to rank or anything that you want to keep top of mind in regards to changes to this product. Just click on add new, select the date, and then add your annotation. Next is step number four, analyze table data. Scroll down to the table. Here you see all the keywords that are listed from your keyword bank. You can sort this table by any column, ascending or descending by clicking here. The first column lists the keyword, and then next to that, you see the exact search volume for that keyword, and then the organic rank and page number where this product ranks. You also see whether the product's rank has been trending up or down. The next column shows the product's sponsored rank, and then whether or not this keyword is present in the product listing. You can also see ease to rank, an estimated PPC bid, and when we last checked this data. Here you can download your data as well as search for a specific keyword. If you click on filters, you'll see that we've created some helpful filtering options that you can use to narrow down your list. And finally, step five, track your own products. Now remember, we selected a competitor product at the beginning of this example to gain insights into how our competitor is doing. We can do the same thing, but instead start with one of our own products if we wanna keep an eye on our own keyword rankings.
So to do this, come back here, enter a group name, click add a product, and then choose my products. From the drop down, select your product or multiple products if you like, and then continue the same way that I just showed you. Let's take a look at this overview over here. You see the different groups created, as well as how much of your tracking limit you've used up. So for each group, you see the products that have been added, how many keywords are being tracked for it, how many keywords this product ranks for in the top 10 or top 50, as well as their cumulative search volume. This product's reviews and star rating, LQS, BSR, and the date added to the tracker. And remember, you can always add additional products to a group. And so that's how you use Rank Tracker. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in some way, showing you how to track keyword performance over time for both your products as well as your competitors. Now go ahead and try this out for yourself by clicking the link down in the description to sign up for Jungle Scout. Did you know that Jungle Scout offers way more tools than just Rank Tracker? And all the tutorials are located right here in this playlist. Make sure you check out the next videos on how to use our Jungle Scout tools.